The Rail Corp business is a consortium of Greenrod together with some private equity investors. About 12 months back, we came together and, and realized that we needed to form a meaningful partnership if you are to make a difference in rail. So Greenrod is a majority stakeholder in this business together with those private equity partners. And the idea behind it was to refocus our rail business to our core competency, being leasing as well as operations. By leasing, we currently have about 57 fleet in our ownership, both leased as well as owned. And that fleet is then leased into various countries, currently the major one being in Sierra Leone. Um, and the separate component of our core competency is operations. So some of um, our lease businesses require us to uh, run, operate, repair, and do all sorts. Um, and that's what we do as, as, as Railco. And within that structure, we've got the competency within the GRCS, which is one of our subsidiaries in Railco, uh, which then deals with things like spare parts and repair work, which we currently do in our site here in Pretoria. With the uh, buoyant commodity prices and increasing demand, particularly in the iron ore and other bulk material, there is an increasing demand for, for rail effort uh, in various corridors, including South Africa for that matter. So our positioning is really to use our current capability to launch rail core and showcase what we are capable of doing, particularly if you look at what we currently doing in Sierra Leone, where we're currently deploying about eight locomotives uh, to move iron ore. I'm very excited of what our team here has achieved in making sure that we, we deliver. In South Africa, there is a potential for us to make a difference given the current challenges uh, within the rail sector. And we think as Railco and Greenrod, we can actually play a role and somewhat assist in unlocking some of the volumes that should be coming through. And as a country, we can only thrive from that. And we're saying we've got the capability, somewhat limited to what actually we've got in the fleet to assist. Transnet is our partner in all aspects of our business. They touch our terminal business in Maputo, our terminal business in Matola, Richards Bay, and therefore they are quite a key important stakeholder within the Greenrod family. And this is one area where I think there's a potential for us to partner and, and really make sure that the commodity that South Africa is able to export to the world is well executed. Um, we understand the challenges that are out there and we're saying we are here to work with, with Transnet in the same way that we currently work with them in other aspects of the business. And this partnership can be uh, well sealed um, and, and we're really, really looking forward to see what role we can play with Transnet. Of course, we're not privy in terms of how the rail open access would look like, um, but we're hoping that whatever that format it comes out in, it should enable us to play a role together with Transnet to get our commodities out uh, for export. In Sierra Leone, we've got a, a good contract currently running using our eight locomotives. We currently have 10 in country, and there's a potential for us to send six additional locomotives uh, over there. We're still running the process in terms of the agreement. Back in South Africa, we currently have some of the locomotives to a lesser extent deployed. And, and there are other aspects where we've, we've done some deployment. I mean, if I quote uh, other examples in Zimbabwe, we're currently leasing about four locomotives. And also up in the Tazara line, we, we deployed about two locomotives. Our strategy is really, really getting gaining momentum here. And uh, we're really excited. And, and for me, what is most humbling is what our 26 staff here in this plant can do. Uh, we've been revamping um, the locomotives that we brought from Sierra Leone into here. And uh, the team is really able to assemble and, and fix and uh, upgrade those locomotives. So I'm quite proud of what the team has achieved. Thank you.